I wonder if you can like find it on, on Google. Translucent concrete, okay. We can pretend this is what that's what this is. <laughs> we put fiber optics into uh into the the track. <laughs> Maybe just Google that. Translucent concrete. Yeah, look at that, it's wild. How many says we need this in Minecraft? Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Pretty cool, right? Like the, the light just goes through. Anyway, back to the game. Oh man, hey, look at look at the, the tracks when it's high density like this. It's just glowing lines of of tracks in the landscape. I should remove the torch lines. I laid down lines of torches at the very beginning to mark out where all the uh, all the all the stations will be. Still going to four five, which I think we are. We will leave here. Nice. I think the lagging is actually the the redstone. Harper says thought snow would cover the tracks too. They would, but I've turned off uh, snowfall. I've turned off rain because um, it would be a pain in the ass to build stuff in the rain. I guess eventually I'll have to... I'll turn that back on again. And I guess I'll have to think about what happens with the snow. The snow won't accumulate on the tracks themselves and it won't accumulate on the redstone dust either. Maybe later, however. <laughs> well, not today, because today I'm testing this. I'm just thinking I might like build roads too. In the in, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just uh, getting ahead of myself. Because where the the lines of torches are, we can't really see any of them now. Those are the more direct routes between the destinations, between the towns and whatnot. So if I build a road network, it'll probably follow those. However, this might be worth updating the map in the water area that's still light blue. Yeah, probably. <laughs> but you do realize it would take a long time, right? <laughs> I have to go over there and fly back and forth. It'll probably take another day to do that. <laughs> Just from flying around with the map on. <laughs> it's another one of those maybe later things, however. <laughs> Add that to the list. <laughs> to the ever-growing list of things to do. <laughs> So loop 2 is the oldest one, 
with some uh, obsolete track designs. How does this double the width of all the tracks so they show nicely on the maps? Yeah, that's that's what we need to do too. <laughs> Is to just like add a huge margin to all the tracks. <laughs> Although some of them are kind of showing up. So another thing I want to do is just to make a detailed map. The maps right now, they're at the the most zoomed out level. You can zoom in more. So at some point I want to just map the whole network. And then have like a huge mural. That's a, a detailed map of the network. Alright, let me swap that out. Get rid of those as well. We're not doing the the bypass things anymore. All right, L two, loop three. Those leaves are still not fully decayed. I might need to punch those out myself at some point. I wonder if they're bugged or something. station. I keep wanting to rebuild this tunnel lower down. Because we go up and then come down again, even though the ground is all the way down there. Anyway, <laughs> again, that's not something I'll do right now. loop 3. We are lagging when we go over the detector rails. I think. Like there. It's it's the pistons. There. And then here. Right. And then here. Yeah, it's the redstone. The redstone is lagging. And then here. Yeah. <laughs> Figured it out. Does it lag here? Yes. Yes, it does. Well, I mean, I guess there's like... <laughs> I guess there's like thousands of pistons. I guess the redstone is just a, a different system that they have to update differently from the rest of the map. Or something. I guess like all the redstone elements will have to be in memory somewhere. Actually, I don't know.
Or does it have to update the whole chunk every time I push the pistons? Maybe it does have to update the whole chunk. Perhaps I wonder if it helps if you look straight up and not at the pistons. Alright, well, let's see. I mean, how can you tell you're... No, we're still lagging. It's not the graphics. It's uh, it's the calculations, probably. You can still, it's still... You can see that it's still lagging. You look at the clouds. Yeah. I wonder if uh, if Microsoft knows about this. I mean, it, it it might not be an inherent part of the Redstone system. It might actually be a bug. lags without any pistons. But I guess the pistons they push down, that's one state change. And then you pull up again and it's a different state change. And maybe every single piston they have to update the, the chunk. So and like there's ten pistons on both sides, right? So they it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and they have to update ten times. And then you pull back up again, again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 times. <laughs> and the game is, is not giving up. Yeah, the, the game is not giving up. It's probably not just the redstone. The redstone is part of it. I do notice that it's... We're going through a forest now. How is this? But it doesn't lag for the first few sections. It seems like it's running out of RAM, so maybe it's a bug where area is not releasing memory of chunks when you leave. Or maybe the, the act of clearing out those old bits is, is, is what's lagging. I think the dense forest is an issue too. I think the forest, because the leaves, they have to check for decaying leaves, right? I think the whatever cycle checks for decaying leaves is also an issue. I'm not sure though. Because when you're not riding around, it doesn't matter. Like the forest doesn't really lag when you're just walking around. It is getting worse, the lag. Uh, I'm just gonna keep going though, and we'll see if it's if it continues to be disastrous. How about this? Didn't we see last year times when this lag actually broke the redstone? Was it the lag that broke it? Um, there were issues with chunks not loading. How is this? That doesn't mean much as you've been updating Minecraft. Yeah. Uh, if the chunks don't load, that would break the, the redstone. I remember that one. Uh, 
Alright, we're in loop 4. And we should arrive at Stronghold Station momentarily. Is it this exit? No, it's the next exit. I have said this before, but this proves that nobody at Microsoft has ever tried this. <laughs> nobody at Microsoft has ever tried building a massive train network with redstone switching. Because if they had, they would know that there's this lag problem. <laughs> okay, now it doesn't lag because we... We no longer have the pistons going up and down. It's probably the pistons. It seems pretty clear that it is the pistons. How does this maybe just quickly restart the game for the next ride? I, I probably should, but I also want to just push it harder to see what happens. <laughs> Alvin says, oh, they've tried it, but ignored it as only complete nutjobs will ever notice. That's right. <laughs> but that would be a mistake, because people who play Minecraft are like this, Harper. <laughs> Have you seen people who play Minecraft? <laughs> yeah, the lag's gone because we're at the final... We're entering the, the branch into the station, and there's no more pistons to activate. So once we stop activating the pistons, there's no lag. The game was never... I guess the game was never really meant to do mass pistons. And I remember when they first introduced pistons, people were like, Wow, this changes so much. And, and it did, right? Like, pistons were always difficult for the game to deal with. They used to go faster, too. But they had to slow them down because they, they were breaking the game. Perhaps this, this is the Windows 10 version. One day of regular version is the same issue. Good question. Alright, so I know it's probably a good idea to just restart the game, but I'm gonna try and break the game by continuing to add to the pressure. <laughs> uh, we're going to 3-5. Okay, that's 3-5. Just making sure. Did he just fall off? He just fell off, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, it's the pistons. Well, no, it's not just the... No, it is pistons. It is the pistons. Okay. And it's not just when we are activating them here. It's when they activate in the distance as well, they also lag. Maybe I can look into redesigning the system so it doesn't use pistons for switching. <laughs> and then rebuild the whole thing. <laughs> 